Hello. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hello. Welcome back to Five Wine Talk. My name is Teacher JB Shelton. How are you? <laughs> you still fine? <laughs> All right. Great. That's great. Now let's continue our class. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. let's begin our next class. Are you ready? Yes, Mary. Okay, great. Please listen to me and look at me. Let's go to the next page. Our lesson for this time is our review lesson. Yeah. Okay, so I want you to look at the pictures. What are these animals? Uh, the first, in the first picture, mm, Timmy, oh no. Cindy and Anna are talking about the peacocks. Okay. And next is the goat, skunk, desert, lizard, and bees and viper. And next is cow. Okay. Yeah. That's it. All right. Okay. <laughs> now let's review what you learned in lessons five to seven. Okay, so let's go to the next page. Now let's answer some questions. Do you know a colorful animal? I Yes? Okay, how it, how does it protect itself from danger? Uh, mm, what? the peacocks will display their uh, tail and scare other enemies. And the frogs, mm, these are colorful, uh, uh, colorful skin have a lot of poisonous. And when the animals touch it, it will be uh, be poisonous. Uh huh. Yeah. All right. Very good. So, yes, that is correct. Okay. Right. Now let's go and talk about. Let's review it. Now okay. let's review the vocabulary from lesson five. Now underline the wrong words in the sentences and correct them. All right. Okay. Now look at. Okay. Let's answer number one. Number one, uh, many kinds of carrots are black. Uh, the black is raw. It will be colorful. Okay, very good. Yeah. Many kinds of parrots are? Colorful. Colorful. Can you please write the word below the sentence? Yes, it will be C-O-L-O-U-R-F-U-L, right? Okay. Colorful. Okay, colorful. Um, what? In English dictionary, there is no U. All right. No U. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So, how about number two? Please write an answer. Read okay. an answer. Mm, animal hide their color. To warn their enemies that they are poisonous. Uh, uh huh. Mm. Uh, I think the hide is run. It will be what? Mm, display, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay, so the wrong word is hide. Okay. Yeah. Animal, what is the correct word? It's display, right? Display, can you spell it? Can you write it, please? I'll be D I S P L A Y. Right? Okay, very good. And what? All right, so yeah. display. All right, so. That is correct. How about number three? Please read a sentence first. Okay. Uh, number three, poison dark frogs that have darker colors and more poisonous than other poison dark frogs. Uh, okay, what's, what's the wrong word? 
Mm, the run is the uh, dark. Uh, it will be mm, bright. Okay. Yeah. S B R I J T. All right. Is that it? Okay, so poison dart frogs that have bright mm -hmm. or brighter that have brighter colors yeah. are okay. more poisonous than other poison dart frogs. Okay? okay. So okay. correct word is brighter. Okay, well, there you are. Right, how about number four? Number four, the tail of peacocks have beautiful lines. And the line is wrong. It will be pink. A uh, painter, P A T T E uh, E E N R, right? Uh huh. E R. Uh -huh. Okay. So how do you read that word? It's painter. Okay, that is pattern. Yeah, pattern. 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 Yeah. Pattern. Okay. The tails of peacocks have beautiful patterns. Okay, very good. That is all correct. You got your first magic star. Thank you. Right. All right. Okay, great. So now, do you have any questions? No questions. All right, let's go to the next page. Now, let's review the vocabulary from lesson six. Now put the letters of the words in order and use them to complete the sentences. For example, number one, the word is spray. Right. Right, yeah, spray. Spray. Yeah. Conks, spray, smell a liquid at their enemies. Yeah. Okay, yeah. how about number two? What is the word? Uh, the word is sting. It will be S T I N G. Sting. Okay. S T I N G. Yes, S T I N G. Now right. make yes. a sentence. Complete the sentence. Okay. Uh, the fire ants will sting. Uh, uh sting uh, their enemies. Okay. The fire ants sting. Sting. Or sting their enemy. Okay, or you can say, you can make another sentence like, the fire ants sting my hand. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> sting yeah. my legs. Okay, yeah. so that is correct. Okay, how about number three? What is the word? Uh, it's defend. The word is defend. Defend. Okay, it's D-E-F-E-N-D, -E -E right? Okay, defend. Okay. Uh, the goats use their horn to defend themselves. Uh huh. Is that it? Okay. So the word is defend. How do you spell it? D e d f e n d. Okay, defend. So goats use. Uh, goats use their horns to. Defend themselves. Okay, very good. That's correct. Goats use their horns to defend themselves. Okay, perfect. Okay, le next. Number uh, four. It's uh, smelly, right? Smelly is correct. Okay, complete the sentence. Uh, it's S-M-E-L-L-Y. Mm-hmm. S. M M E L L Y smelly. Okay, complete the sentence. Okay, mayor pants became smelly when enemies go near them. Smelly pants become become yeah become smelly. I uh, become smelly. Uh, when enemies near them. Okay, very good. When the enemies near them. Okay, or when they are in danger. Yeah. Okay. okay. Number five. What is the word? Uh, it's uh, horns. And horns. Okay. Horns. It's H O R N S. 
All right. Horns is H-O-R-N-S. Make a sentence or complete the sentence. Okay. Uh, cows, your cows use their horns to fight with their enemies. All right. Very good. Cows use their horns to right. fight their enemies or to defend themselves. Yeah. Right. All right. Next number six is. Uh, number six is uh, what? Hmm. What is? Uh, number six. What? Uh, it's fangs, right? F A fangs. Yes, F A N G S fangs. That is correct. Fangs. Now complete the sentence. Okay. A lion can use its sharp fangs. To bite enemies. Okay, perfect. That is correct. Right. A lion can use its fangs to fight its enemies. Okay, great okay. job, Stephen. Number seven. Let's go to number seven. Okay, number seven. What is the is word? Bite. It's bite. bite. Okay, yeah. how do you spell it? It's B I T E. Okay, B I T. Now complete the sentence. Okay. When in danger, dogs uh, bite their enemies with their teeth. All right. So, when in danger, dogs bite right. their enemies. Okay, great job. And the last one, number eight. What is the word? Okay. Uh, it's bite, right? Mm, number eight. S spikes. Spikes. Okay, how do you spell it? It's S P I K E S. That's correct. Now complete the sentence. Okay. Uh, when a desert horned lizard is in danger, uh, it will be what? Uh, it will be spike. Hmm. Uh, spike at the enemies and make them in danger. All right. So when a desert horned lizard is in danger, it shows its spikes to the animals that want to eat it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Any questions? No questions. Okay. Great. Because of that, you got your second magic star. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Now describe the animal. Pairs using comparative forms of adjectives. All right. Okay. Now the first one is uh, rainbow, it's... um, larket, and cardinal. Okay, the rainbow, larket, and cardinal. Mm, the rainbow, larket, and uh, cardinal has uh, uh, colorful uh, fur in its body. Uh huh. You have to compare them. For example, um, for example, the cake is more delicious than ice cream. Okay, so you have to compare them. All right. Okay, uh, the rainbow lorikeet has brighter colors then, then, than the yeah. cardinal. All right. Okay. Okay. Or you can say the rainbow lorikeet um, is more colorful than the cardinal. Yes. Okay. Right. Okay. All right. How about the monarch butterfly and Julia longwing butterfly? And uh, the monarch butterfly. Monarch. Has Monarch, monarch butterfly, uh, have more painters than Julia Lowen butterflies. How do you read this word? What? Uh, pattern. 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 Okay, yeah. one more time. Okay. Uh, more. What? Monarch. It's, monarch butterfly have. Uh, more patterns than Julia Longwing butterfly. Okay, very good. So yes, the monarch butterfly has more patterns than the Julia Longwing butterfly. 
Yeah. All right. Very good. The last one, golden poison dart frog and tomato frog. Okay. Uh, the golden poison dart frog uh, has more bright... Oh, no. Uh, the golden poison dart frog mm, are more poisonous than tomato frog. Okay, very good. So, yes, the golden poison dart frog is more, how do you read this word? It's poisonous. Poisonous, very good. It's more poisonous than the tomato frog. frog. Okay, yeah. great job. Very good, Stephen. Okay. Because of that, you got your... Third magic star. Oh, Any questions? No questions. Okay, great. Now, let's learn how to use the prefix on. Now, a prefix is a set of letters placed at the beginning of a word to change its meaning. The prefix on means not. We use this to give the opposite meaning to words. Now, please read the examples. Okay. It's uncommon means not common. Unfinished is not finished. Unclean is not clean. Okay, now, complete the sentences by adding the prefix on to the underlined words. Okay. Uh, this water is uh, dirty, so it is undrinkable. All right, very good. Number two. Uh, number two is uh, he spent a lot, which is why he is unable to see money. Okay, and number three. Number three. Uh, Sandy is unafraid of spiders, unlike most of her friends. Okay, very good. Now, right. any questions? No question. You sure? Yeah. Okay, what is a prefix? Uh, the prefix is a set of letters placed in the beginning of word to change it in me meaning. Okay, placed at the beginning. Okay? Yeah. okay. So if it's not in the beginning, it's not a prefix. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now let's go to the next page. All right. All right. Read the passage and answer the question. All right. Uh, the elephant, taro, mouse, chapter pen can be found in parts of Central Europe. This, uh, this caterpillar can make themselves appear bigger and take on the shape of poisonous snake to avoid being eaten by another insect or animal. Uh, they grow into mouth and live for only about five weeks. All right, perfect. So, yes. Now, let's answer the questions. Is this an information report? Yes or no? Yes. Why? Uh, because uh, the elephant hawk mouse, uh, uh, caterpillars, is a real animal and gives effect. All right, yes, it has facts about elephant hawk yes. caterpillars. Yeah. Okay. okay, next, does this passage contain opinions? Hmm, uh, this count. Mm, yes, you sure? Which one is the opinion if there is? Uh, five, six, uh, what, where? Oh, uh, no, there's none. Let me see. Uh, these camper mentions are pretty good. Uh, it's a savage. Uh, this this uh, catcher can make themselves and appear bigger than takes the shape of poison. Is that an opinion? What? Uh, Isn't not, it a fact? Uh, it is fact. Not it's opinion. a fact. Yeah. So it's That's not an opinion. opinion. Yeah. So, there's no any counter opinions in the all right, very good. Okay, so, okay. yes, great job. So, right. no, it only contains facts. Yeah. Okay, let's move on to the next. Any questions? 
No question. Perfect. Okay, now, how can the animals show, um, animals below defend themselves? Now, suggest solutions. The okay. first one, please read the problem. Okay, the problem is a wolf wants to eat a goat. Okay, uh, what's the solution? The solution is the goat will use their, uh, use, use its horn to fight with the wolf. To defend itself. Very good, that's correct. Next, what is the problem? Uh, the problem is a bird wants to eat a bee. And the solution is uh, uh, the bee will see in the birds uh, uh, to defend. Uh, de defend them. Defend mm -hmm. it. So a bird wants to eat a bee. So, what is the solution? The bee. The bee uh, seeing the birds to defend itself. Okay, the bee can give a painful sting, right, yeah. to the bird. Okay, next, next problem. Uh, problem is a bear wants to eat the cubs of a mother tiger, and the solution is. Uh, the mother tiger bites the bear to um what to protect uh to, to protect himself. Okay, a um, bear wants to eat the cubs of the mother tiger. The mother tiger can use her fans to yeah. bite the bear. Right. Yeah. Right. Perfect. All right. Now. Classify the animals based on how they protect themselves. Then, complete the missing details in the paragraph below to make an information report. Okay, so now, what animals that stings? Um, it uh, It will fire ant and beeps, right? Okay, very good. How about fans? The fans. What animals that have fans? And vipers and uh, baboons. 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 All right. And the last one, the unpleasant smell. Uh, it's the uh, melon pen and the skunk. Oh, that's perfect. Great job. Now, special ways animals protect themselves. Okay. So, um... Complete the missing details in the paragraph below to make an information report. Okay. Uh, animals protect themselves in many ways. For example, some insects like uh, 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 like the uh, what uh, like the bees and the fire ants mm, use their stings uh, to uh, to uh, to stinging other to sting their enemies and have a painful sting. Animals like uh, what uh, vipers and uh, baboons use their fangs to bite their enemies and get away. And they are also animals that use our and a pleasant smell, uh, uh, a pleasant smell, smelly liquid like. Uh, the uh, male pets and the skunks. Okay, perfect. Because right. of that, you got your fourth magic star. Thank you. All okay. right. So now, talk about how animals protect themselves. So, this will be your homework again. Write right. a passage about this after class. Okay? Okay. All right. Now, this is what we learned today. Now, please read. Okay, the vocabulary strategy is perfect on on. Okay, the keywords. The keywords is colorful pattern, display, and bright. And defend, horn, spike, thin, spray, smelly, bend, and bite. All right, how about the grammar? The grammar is the comparative forms of adjectives. And genera is informational, report, and rating scale is the identifying problem and solution. Okay, perfect. Great job. Because of that, you got a perfect magic star. Thank you okay, so much. So, thank you so much, Stephen, for your time. You were doing so great in our class. And I am sad you are one of the best students that I have. I am sad because this might be our last class together. What's going on? Who's matter? <laughs> okay. What?
Uh, <laughs> um, I don't want to cry. So. Oh my God. Okay. My Thank you so much for booking my classes and. What? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I hope to see you soon. <laughs> All right. Okay. Enjoy. I don't want to cry. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, you were the best. Um, one of the best students that I had, and then. What? Yeah. Yeah, I think. Uh, <laughs> I hope to see you next time. So please, uh, I know that you can do so much better. Good luck and What? yeah, always do your best. I know right. that you are the best. I know that you will do your best. You know. So All thank right. you so much, Stephen, for your time. All right. Have a great weekend and yeah, okay. <laughs> stay good. Okay, and stay kind okay. to your teachers. All right. Bye, Stephen, and have a great, have a great week. All right. All right. <laughs> bye, Stephen. Okay, bye, bye. I'm so sad. Bye, bye. Okay, hope to see you next time. Yeah. yeah. Bye. <laughs>